Hi everyone, it's me, Bill, once again coming to you live from the Ham Shack. Tonight I wanted to talk to you about programming the mighty UV5R. The good folks at TID Radio asked me if I would do an honest review in exchange for uh, one of their products, the uh, TID Radio Wireless Programmer. And here comes your honest review. Spoiler alert, I do like this thing. Now there are several ways to program your UV5R, the mighty UV5R. If you're totally hardcore, you can pick it up, tap into the old keyboard, and program a couple channels. Now that might work for one or two channels, but my UV5R is the mighty UV5R. Typically have as much as a hundred channels on them. And I'm not gonna sit here all day like some lunatic just tap, tap, tapping that in. So the second best way to program the mighty UV5R is to use Chirp. I've talked about Chirp in other videos. It's a spreadsheet style looking application that you can download for free. You can download all of the repeaters in your area, put it into Chirp and put Chirp right into your UV5R. Chirp is dependable and easy to use. Oh wait, there's a phone call. Uh, this is what happens once again when you're live. Hello, caller. You're on live with Bill. How can I help you today? Hi, Bill. I heard you say there are several ways to program your UV5R. Right. Yeah, there are a couple of different well, you ways. You only mentioned two. Is there a way to program the radio that doesn't require you to bring extra oh, hardware, yeah. like a mm -hmm. Raspberry Pi or a laptop? Yeah, you don't want to bring along all the hardware and everything, right? Well, you know, I, I, I'm glad you asked these questions. It's a great question. Brings us to tonight's topic of the video, uh, the TID Radio Wireless Programmer. This is how we're going to oh, do it. Bill, one other question. Mm -hmm. In your last mm -hmm. video, you had some no. hair. Now it looks like you're totally bald. Uh, um, you going <clears throat> I, I think it's dime must have ran out or something. But anyhow, I think we got the, the gist of the questions he's asking. He wants to know how to program his radio. Now today I want to talk to you about this device the TID Radio Wireless Programmer. Now, full disclosure, they did send this to me and ask me to give them an honest review. I'm not getting paid for this, and as a matter of fact, I've never made a nickel off of YouTube. I just do it for the good times. So here's how the product arrives. In a small box, you'll find neatly packaged a very small owner's manual or user's manual, a very small charging cable, which is a USB-C and the unit itself. Now the very small user's manual recommends that you charge the device and it should take about one hour to charge it. My device came and I didn't bother to do it and it still had plenty of charge. It also says it has a standby time of one day and uh, I've used this over the course of a week without again having to charge it. The thing is just incredible. I don't know if maybe that's a translation error or if they mean Using it full time, you only get to use it for one day. But uh, again, I just think this little guy is incredible. Now to use the device, you will need to download their proprietary software, which is called OD Master. It works on Mac, Windows, Linux, all of the options. It's very simple to install and very straightforward. You'll need to use Bluetooth in order to operate the device. Using OD Master is pretty straightforward. You need to turn on your radio, make sure it's set to an unused frequency. All right, on my cell phone, the icon up here is for the TID radio. It's OD Master is the name of the application. You'll have to download that. When you download it, you also need to create an account. It's a very simple, straightforward process. It's not a big deal. There are a number of options that are available in this app. I have not explored all these options. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on them, but they are there and there's a, a chat area, there's a way to talk to people, there's a way to share files, everything. But the thing that we're most interested in is this icon, the program. I've got the device in my radio and I have the software on my phone. Next, we want to read from the radio into my phone. So first thing we're going to do is connect via Bluetooth. And it looks at the device, it's the TID radio kit. And we're going to turn that one on. So now you can see it is connected. We next need to select our model. As I mentioned before, there are a number of different models here and this list increases all the time. So I'm gonna select the Baofeng, the UV5R, the mighty UV5R. And now you can see it knows it's hooked up to an UV5R. Next thing I'll do is read off of this radio. Just tap the read icon here and you can see the blue light blinking here. Blue lights are good, blinking's good. Status bar goes all the way across. 
and now it has the contents of the radio on my phone. As you can see, of course, I've got the power set to high. All of the functions that you expect and that you see in Chirp will appear right here. If we wanted to, looking at the channels, as you can see, it defaults to channel zero. By tapping on that, it opens up and shows me all the channels on my radio. These guys say null because I haven't used those channels, but all the others that I have used are, I guess that color is green. And you can see I, channel 26 I don't use, channel 29 I don't use. If I wanted to see what was on there, I could say, I'll tap on number 18. So this is channel 18. Here's my transmit and receive frequencies. Power set to high. And the name of this channel is the local repeater, KD3WT-L. If I go back up here and instead now select one of these empty channels, channel 94, I can tap on my frequency and type in any frequency I want, my transmit, and my receive frequencies. All of the settings that are normally available to me, either through the radio or through Chirp, are all available right here. The repeater button at the bottom, if I select that, it brings me into my repeater list. I can select this icon right at the top and tell it, look at a distance of 10 miles, 25, 50, 100, 1,000 miles, and find me all the repeaters that are available. Sort it either by distance, by frequency, by call, or by location, and select Confirm, and here is that list. Most of these repeaters are already programmed into my radio. If they were not, I could hit the Import button at the bottom and import all of them and then transfer them to the radio. So let's look at exactly how we transfer data to the radio. Before we try to write data to the second radio, first I want to show you how to save the data that you just downloaded from the first radio. Select the Save button at the top right hand corner and it will bring up this dialog box. From here I'm going to enter the file name October and hit Confirm. Now later when we need to get that file it will be there. Pull out a second UV5R, the mighty UV5R. I'm going to reset this Are radio. I hit reset all. She'll speak Chinese now. Okay. Plug in our wireless programmer and launch the OD Master application. So now we're going to select the program button at the bottom. We'll connect Bluetooth. There is our piece of kit there, the TID radio kit. Let's connect it. Select our model, Baofeng UV5R, the mighty UV5R. Program and settings is what we'll select. We're going to select the bottom center button, the RXTX list. From there, we'll select the October file that we created earlier. One of the things that I found a little funky with the uh, software, with the app, is this guy right down here. The very bottom of your function page, you have channel a or A channel display way and B channel display way. And what this is, is this is asking how do you want it to appear in the screen here when you're on channel mode? Do you want to see the channel name? Do you want to see the frequency? And you can see it says channel name. But when I select it, channel name is not one of the options available. Channel plus name is. So I'll select that. And same thing with channel B, channel plus name. If I left it channel name, I won't get any names, I'll just get the frequencies. It's a little issue, tiny little issue, but for what you're getting here, I, I can deal with that. I'll select the right button, and we got blinky lights, everything's blinking, blinking. And when it's done, it will reset and restart the radio. And if you look in the screen on the radio, you'll see it says my call sign and my name. And if we switch over to channel mode, there's each channel is displaying the name of the channel. So it seems to have worked perfectly. So my honest review of the TID Radio Wireless Programmer is buy it. It's light and sturdy. It's easy to use with your phone. It's, it does everything it says it's going to do and more. It takes almost no time to set up. Offers features that I haven't even covered here. The darn thing only costs like 25 bucks. Buy two, buy ten, give them out to your friends, give them out to everyone in your ham radio uh, club. Hand them out as Christmas gifts. Give them out for Hanukkah, Festivus, whatever you got going on over there. 
How could you not buy it? Anyone you give this to will thank you for giving it to them. And I'd like to thank you for watching to the end of the video. Stay safe and have fun.